It is definitely hot at the Centennial Concert Hall. The Winnipeg Symphony Orchestra is doing some hot numbers with a very, very hot couple dancing along. I'd like to give a warm welcome right now to Andrew and Jennifer Prisbel. Welcome to Winnipeg. Thank and you. wow. Thank you very much. Thank you. Can you guys move? We, we try, yes, we try. Oh, incredible dancing. Now, we are all uh, huge fans of Dancing with the Stars, so I'll start with you, Jennifer. The girls are gorgeous, but also so, so quick. I mean, the speed that you move is so unbelievable. Yeah, it's oh. hard. You guys, you have to be born with the speed because you can't learn speed. <laughs> no, you can't. Yeah. So how did you learn how to dance? I used to dance when I was little with my dad. We'd have weddings, and I'd always go and dance with my dad. People would watch us. And we'd oh. go to Mexico, we dance together, have an audience. Oh. Yeah. So, no polkas, right? No polkas, no. <laughs> Andrew, you come with the expertise across the ocean from yes, Poland. Yes, from Poland. Straight from Poland, I came to America in 2002. Mm -hmm. I danced with my sister for many, many years since we were eight. And we came to America, and then I met Jenny, and I'm dancing with Jenny since 2005. Oh. And yeah. they are a couple. Husband and wife. Yes, yes yeah. exactly. Four years. Mm -hmm. Five in August. Yeah, in August coming five years, so yeah. long time. Long yeah. time. All right, so let's go into the whole chemistry now. Jennifer, dancing with your husband. How is it different than dancing with a straight dance partner? How is it different? Yes. You are. You can like argue maybe sometimes <laughs> more because it has more meaning for you. Mm -hmm. and, but then you still have more of chemistry and more passion together because you share it outside of dance and in dance. Yes, and there are definitely, I mean, even if you don't have a relationship outside of dance, there is that trust factor either, either way, right, Andrew? Yes, because you share love for some passion, so, you know, you, you express yourself with their wife or, or friend, you know, so it's, you share passion to dance with somebody else, so it's a beautiful thing to do it. Mm -hmm. Choreography, Andrew, in your court, do you do a lot of the choreography? Uh, most of the choreography I did, that's my choreography, and we have also coaches helping us with certain things, so to make it better and better, so it's combination. The most of uh, there are my choreographies. Yes. Yeah. And you have a dance school, so you are sharing your knowledge with others, correct? Yes. And is it fun teaching? I don't teach, oh, you teach teaches, oh, you teach. Yes, I'm the teacher, I teach uh, in uh, Michigan, in West Bloomfield. Mm -hmm. It's called Dance Elite, mm -hmm. so it's beautiful studio. We have beautiful dancers, and it's much fun and uh, a lot of work and fun <laughs> job. Yeah, fun job, yeah. fun times. The whole atmosphere of dance now is it really exciting to be a dancer of any type right now? I think you know the, the dance is more popular, especially ballroom now with the dancing with the stars. What you said at the beginning, so it's more. It's more sports oriented as well so it's uh, it's good s discipline to teach even kids you know discipline and the uh, hard work so i think it's very very good for young kids to start even to get some experience and wow. and yeah so <laughs> well it's just so so amazing to see both of you together you really truly do have a passion for dance Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Yes, and good luck in the future. More Thank championships, you. and maybe we Thank might even see much. the Prisbles on Dancing with the Stars. Yes, maybe. <laughs> For Shaw TV, I'm Tracy Koga.